Me, I want what's coming to me. Oh, well, what's coming to you, Tony? The world, Chico. And everything in it. If you're looking to lose a little bit of belly fat, have glowing skin, longer hair, stronger nails, listen, go to DMTV Organics Nature website so you can get your sea moss gel and sea moss gummies. I'm telling you, I take this every day. You can see it's almost empty. I do this two to three times a day and I'm telling you, this is the best premium sea moss on the planet check them out one boil bag of miracle tea in big pot of water for 30 minutes cover and let sit for one hour two pour miracle tea into one gallon pitcher fill remaining pitcher volume with water three optional pour 11 ounces of agave agave or honey four Optional. Squeeze lemon into your pitcher. Refrigerate. What's the deal? It's your boy McLean at Dwayne McLean TV. Shouts out to the Dan TV Nation. I appreciate everybody showing support every night and every day rocking with Dan Dwayne McLean TV and rocking with the boys. Support me. Y'all know what they did in my last one trying to build this channel up. So please like, comment, subscribe, and share the video so we can get this channel built up. Let's get this channel to 8,000 subscribers. At 8,000 subscriber month, we will be doing a giveaway of something. I can't give away no baby chains. But we will try to work out something to give away for y'all. We will be coming up soon. Let's get there first, though. So um, if you're looking for a promotion, please contact me at patrock1982 at gmail.com. And also go to organicnature.co and get your CMOS gummies and your CMOS, your, uh, CMOS capsules and buy the other CMOS products that are listed on the website. Links are in the, comment set, the description box and pinned in the comment section. And also subscribe to my Patreon for exclusive content. All right, so today's video is going to be about a topic that I think that's very important. It's about the Bud Light topic. All right. Now, I want to talking about this because <sighs> there's been this crazy, strange agenda to constantly push this man on man love behavior and woman on woman love behavior throughout the entire industry. They like they force it on children. Disney right now, the Disney movie studios. I don't know if y'all been reading, but a lot of their movies have been flopping. For constantly putting all that in the movies, all that in the in their movies, the Buzz Lightyear movie flopped. They had one called Strange Worlds. It's about this young teen who was in love with another guy, male teen in love with another male, and that movie flopped. Disney's been flopping from all the woke ideologies in the movies. Now, Bud Light has also put in um, a situation where they had a somebody who was a train station. You know what a train station is? Somebody who's on a trans am and promoting the, the brand and it just looked really bad so you got a man who's taking a lot of hormones to look like another gender this man is um uh promoting bud light and is making them look weird making them look crazy right their stock has went down 33 percent and uh it, and i kind of wrote on blogging on it because i really want to touch on how the agenda is being pushed so heavily throughout everywhere and i don't i don't know how it makes sense what would make a beer company say, hey, most of the guys who drink this are rednecks? Let's be real. Regular people ain't drinking. No most men are not drinking Bud Light. I'm a beer drinker. If you're a man, you need to drink beer. All right. If you're a man, you don't drink beer. I'm going to look at you. I'm like, what you drinking? Martinis or something? Every man needs to drink beer. If you, want, not every, not, if you don't drink, cool. But if you drink, I, it, it teaches on. But mo I feel like. It's nothing like getting with the guys and get some beers. So suppose that's what King of the Hill did. What you're supposed to do. Nobody's drinking a no Bud Light. You know what I'm saying? So they knew it's like y'all you know your audience. You know what your audience wants. It's what your audience wants you to give them what they want. You know what I'm saying? And I think they people are forced to put in this train station stuff. You're forced to do it. And they're getting this TikTok guy. Dylan Dylan. They're getting this TikTok guy. And he's really making a lot of bad mistakes. They probably paid him a grip too. They probably paid him a grip, but I don't get. My personal thing is, why are they putting it so much in every movie, every show, like we ask for it? You know what I'm saying? I don't never even see how that makes sense with beer. I never even seen any, it's, it's rare you see women drink beer. It's rare most females don't drink beer. Like It's like a small percentage of them. 
beers uh, beers are mostly bought by males. You know what I'm saying? And I don't know why they even thought about even doing that, but like, but I do. Like I said, I know why, man. It's like they they are, they get this to have to do this. They have to put this stuff out here, and they might take an L, but look, they don't care about taking the L's. All right, they can spin it. Y'all getting mad and upset? Well, it shows how phobic America is. Y'all get mad and upset, so y'all the blame. They're trying to get to a. Y'all gotta watch the movie Fifth Element, right? Chris Tucker and the movie Fifth Element. The movie's based on the future. Chris Tucker plays this talk show host who is very flamboyant and he dressed like a lady throughout the entire movie. And he's very, very famous. When you read about it, it's basically saying in the future deaths they plan to have where nobody's going to care, which you sh we shouldn't care about that at all. But if I, if Corona, I drink Coronas. If Corona did that, right, and they put a train station in a commercial, I'm going to still drink the Corona, like. I like how they taste. You know what I'm saying? And I, that's my thing with people, man. I don't know how... Do y'all really rock with it? Like, why are you so worried about the political side of it? Why are you so worried about being politics? Why are you so worried about what they got going on? I, I never thought it was that. Do you like the beer or not? Why y'all worried? I don't know how that even makes sense. Like, but like I can I can see how a movie, it'll rub you the wrong way. Like, you don't want to watch a movie and they showing you stuff that you ain't trying to see and you watching the movie and it's it's throwing in stuff that's not even supposed to be there. Yeah, I can understand that. I can understand that. I can understand um, why you get upset at a movie or like some 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 toys. So you got two GI Joe toys. Like you like these toys. I can understand you don't want to see your favorite toy do that. But if you got a if you drinking a beer like right now, this alcohol right here, I'm gonna rub this on the back of my neck forever. If they ever got a train station to promote this. I'm going to still buy this. <laughs> I'm not about to be like, nah, let me not get this because they want to advertise that. Is the product good? It's good, but they don't know. I'm telling you, most of the people who buy that type of brand, but like, but behind their bush, is going to be people who are mostly, who are into the, who's caught to the game of politics. If you're caught to the game of politics, and you're, a, if you're somebody out there, and you're caught to the game of, celebrities, you're caught to the game of politics, you're caught to the game of all this, you're going to get caught up and you're going to kind of get involved in a lot. You're going to end up making a lot of daggone crazy mistakes doing this stuff right here. You know what I'm saying? Now, I remember a dude complained about it and he worked for uh, Anheuser-Busch, whatever you call it. And now he's like, look, I can't feed my family because I ain't make commission. I feel him on that. I feel him on that. I'd have been outraged too. Nobody buying this stuff, nigga. It's not selling out. Um... For him, he probably should have did a sale. Um, he should have done I think Bud Light needs to just do a really good sale. Sell the stuff for it. It's already a dollar. It's just disgusting. Change their recipe. It's nasty. Nobody wants that mess anyway, but I don't really care about TV, um, po po political stuff like that. You know, I really feel like they know what they're doing when they do this stuff. They're trying to rile people up. I think Bud Light knew they should take the hit. I think they're trying to, because some companies will tank their company. They'll attain their company so they can sell a lot of stock to do something else with it. So it's like a stock drop. Like now I'll start this low, let's buy it all up, let's do all this up with it, and then we're going to rise back up in a few years. It's, it's like a, a pump. Some people take their stuff on purpose so, they can, so people can invest in it. You know what I'm saying? At a low price. Now you got all these investors. Now you can do different stuff with it because so many people have bought into it. So they might be tanking, but they there's no. I don't know why people still think this is something that people care about. It's dying out slowly. I will say out of all the agendas that they have pushed, this is one of the ones that backfire the most. America's just not ready for all that weird stuff y'all trying to do. A guy doing that, that's just weird. I seen the commercial, it wasn't that much of a bad commercial. I don't see nothing wrong with it. But um, yeah, man, I don't I don't really see the reason for or behind it. You know what I'm saying? You ask me. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section, man. How do y'all feel about that? Do y'all even care for it? You drink that? Do you how do you feel about the agenda being pushed? I personally like the agenda being pushed. We should not support that. Like, I didn't watch the Buzz Lightyear movie. As soon as I hear that stuff is in the movie, I ain't watching it. I ain't no point me watching that mess, man. I ain't about to watch some stuff. And here's the thing I want to explain to them. It's not the fact that we don't want to watch it because of who their orientation is. It's the fact when it's forced on us. If y'all write great stories, and like Shelton from The Big Bang Theory, we all know he yagged out. We don't care. SpongeBob, we all knew it was jagged up, but make it to where 
it makes sense. This don't make it, hey, here's his character. This is orientation here. Like him. It doesn't work like that. Y'all got to make it make sense. You know what I'm saying? Tell a compelling story. You know what I'm saying? Um, and use that. Have it to where when they come out, they gotta, you got to show that life or what happens of it. Like, they're getting disowned by their parents. You got to make the story. Just don't throw it in there. Y'all got to write better. That's y'all issue with that. Y'all trying to plop it in everything. Let me tell you something. We don't care. It's almost like having the female lead of a video game. We play Tomb Raider. We play Dino Crisis. I pick Ling and Tekken sometimes. I know for every time I play Soul Calibur, I got Sopithia. We just don't be just putting it out there every day and it gets corny. Y'all got to learn to stop being corny. Y'all need to hire real N-words. I can tell everything's missing the realness of it because people are doing corny things and expect a real N-word result. All right? But this is Boyd McClain, Boyd McClain TV, man. Y'all be blessed. I'll be safe. I'm out. Oh. If you're looking to lose a little bit of belly fat, have glowing skin, longer hair, stronger nails, listen, go to DMTV organics nature website so you can get your sea moss gel and sea moss gummies i'm telling you i take this every day you can see it's almost empty i do this two to three times a day and i'm telling you this is the best premium sea moss on the planet check them out